Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Views. Another scorcher of a hot summer day here in upstate New York. And even though I've said IPAs I don't find to be refreshing, I just like the atmosphere. Uh, this particular beer has been requested so many times I can't even keep count. This is the Lagunitas Hop Stupid Ale. Uh, 8% ABV, they're out of Petaluma, California. Uh, there's a very weird description on the side, and it, it seems to indicate that it's made with ef extract or not made with extract. I don't know, I couldn't really tell what they're trying to say here. As you can see, it pours, you know, a surprisingly clear, kind of a bright orange color. A uh, little bit of kind of sediment in there. Uh, didn't form much of a head, just kind of a small white head. I mean, it smells like classic West Coast, uh, but way sweeter. Definitely getting like peach, mango, all the tropical fruits. It doesn't have like that acidic or tart smell that you would get from like a stone. It doesn't have like that cereal or or sweet tarts type of smell. It's just more like, you know, just pure juice concentrate. A lot of people said this is uh, comparable to Pliny. I guess I'll find out. Cheers. Wow, it's very sweet, it's very bitter. Um, I don't think it's quite the same as Pliny. It's not as, it's not as juicy and refreshing as Pliny. This is more of like in that syrup, hop syrup kind of category. Whereas Pliny is just more like the crisp juice. This kind of hits your tongue like a thud. It has like a lot of weight to it. It's like kind of sticky in the mouth. Very bitter from start to finish. I mean, it should be. It's, what did it say, 102 IBUs? I can understand that. Just constant bitterness throughout from start to finish. Um, I get the, 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 the aromas I get in the nose, I definitely pick up in the palate. In the kind of orange juice, um, concentrate kind of flavor, uh, kind of mango, peach, tangerine kind of taste in there. It does, it, it, it does, it's not like there's a hop bite at the end, it's like a, a hop consistency throughout it. Um, and they definitely linger on the tongue. It's kind of like a sticky, uh, sweet aftertaste. It has a real energy, a real presence in the mouth feel. It, 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 it's not quite as thick as the taste and aroma kind of would lead me to believe. You know, it's, you know, kind of more in that medium kind of thickness, but it has a distinct carbonation there, so it's like, has like a lot of energy as it kind of crackles on the tongue. So yeah, it's actually kind of crisp. It seems to be a kind of a simple palette. I mean, that's not to say it's a bad thing or anything. A lot of these big West Coast type double IPAs tend to be like that. Just bam, bitterness, bam, citrus. That's pretty much it. All right, so look back at my final thoughts on the Hop Stupid. Cheers. All right, final thoughts and grades for the Lagunitas Hop Stupid. I liked it. It's not a mind blower, but it is a very good, very kind of typical West Coast double IPA. If I had to boil it down to like three words, I would say it's a thicker, stickier version of Ruination. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It's thicker, it's like way sweeter, and I, I, I guess it is made with hop extract, which probably would account for that, you know, extra sweetness, that kind of thickness and stickiness to it. Super, super bitter. It actually seems, I mean, 102 is quite a lot of IBUs, but it seems like it'd be even more than that. The hops are sticking to my tongue. It feels like I just, you know, ate like hop maple syrup or something like that. I don't know. And 8%, it, it feels a little bit bigger than 8% because, you know, I just killed this whole bottle and, you know, I feel like way more like filled up than I should be um, with an 8% beer. But you know what? This is like the kind of beer, it almost like demands that you have dinner with this beer. Because this would go great with very, very spicy food to kind of take that, that edge off and match the extreme bitterness with some extreme spiciness. Oh yeah, so the actual grade. Um, I'll give a solid 8 out of 10 for the Hop Stupid. It's, it's a very good beer. I can think of a few other West Coast double IPAs I like better. Um, obviously Ruination and Pliny and some other ones like that, but 
This is not bad for what it is. If you can get this, you know, you won't be disappointed with it. Again, 8 out of 10 for a Hop Stupid. That's it for this episode of Chad's Beer Goose. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay cool. Cheers.